let's come to question number six now. A five-year-old child was diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome. So it's a scenario-based question on nephrotic. Nephrotic is one of the most important things for super specialty exam, particularly after the guidelines have been altered. So with this nephrotic syndrome in this child was adequately managed with prednisolone, but he had four more relapses over the next one year, each of which needed steroid therapy. So one episode, initial episode, then four more relapses within, uh, you know, about a period of one year, we are probably looking at FRNS. During last episode, since the child had features of steroid toxicity, he was planned to be started on steroid sparing agent. So, so somebody rightly said, too many relapses, let us start the child on steroid uh, uh, sparing agent. However, there was poor response to both levamisole and cyclophosphamide. So poor response was seen, right? Eventually, the child responded to mycophenolate morphetal. What is the diagnosis in this child? Look at the terminologies here. Refractory nephrotic syndrome, there is no such thing as refractory nephrotic syndrome according to ISBN or KDGO. Second is steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome. What is steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome? Failure to attain remission despite 6 weeks of daily full dose prednisolone therapy. Here, there is, the patient is responsive. It is only because of, you know, toxicity that we are changing the drug. But steroid sensitivity is there. So, B also cannot be the answer. So, this is not the answer. This is not the answer. Option number C, steroid dependent nephrotic syndrome. Now, steroid dependent will have a relapse when the steroids are being tapered or within two weeks of uh, starting the steroid therapy. But steroid dependent nephrotic syndrome, normally we find that they, they show response to steroid sparing agents. This is not the terminology that is being talked about here. The terminology is probably D. Why D is the answer? Because any child who has frequent relapsing nephrotic syndrome or has developed steroid toxicity, if he started on steroid sparing agent and there is failure to respond to at least two drugs of steroid sparing category. We call it as difficult to screen steroid sensitive disease. Remember that all of them will be steroid sensitive and not resistant. So what is the terminology we are talking about here? ISPN guidelines say there is a thing called as difficult to treat steroid sensitive disease. So patients, children who are having frequently relapsing nephrotic syndrome or infrequent relapses with steroid toxicity, right? One out of these two should be there plus the child should have no response to two or more different steroid sparing agents of different classes which includes levamisole, mycophenolate morphetil or cyclophosphamide. If both the conditions are fulfilled, we say the patient is having difficult to treat steroid sensitive disease. So this patient is having frequent relapses he is also showing poor response to both levamisole and cyclophosphamide. He has steroid toxicity, and, but, but he continued to remain steroid sensitive. And so this child it comes into the category of difficult to treat steroid sensitive disease. So whatever terminologies in nephrotic that you will be reading, try to think, trying to imbibe them what they mean actually. Say it out in your native language and it will be easy for you to mark in a, if you get a question like this.